Hello, greetings. Yeah, so I just, you know, this video I've seen as some ex Muslim brave young man, <laughs> uh, Gulzar Elia's official TV channel. <laughs> so I, I've said, I've said, I've put it in the comment now that you will only take those like Haris Sultan and Ghalib Kamal, where your reputation remains intact and where you get a good fame and name, they are choosing those, not from Indian, who I don't even, what can I do about it? I haven't been to India. Indian ex-Muslims, I don't know how many of them are true, what is going on on YouTube. <coughs> so, rational thinking and rational thinking and uh, totally disregarding. I know for sure, I mean, what is, what is this Haris Sultan going to tell me about my life? <coughs> <coughs> Whatever he says, all this junk he says, uh, you know, callously. Uh, no, no, I don't believe. So you can, uh, you don't have to believe if there's no evidence for your reincarnation. Who is asking you? to believe in it. So you keep your personal, you should say it, this is my personal, but they want to act very macho and very tough. They think I'm one of those Pakistanis or you know, uh, looking for fairness. They've put me in a box, right? I'm looking for truth. So they've put me in that box where, no, she, uh, I just went to say that, no, how can you say, there are some Indians who are good. How can you say even these videos when we can't even trust you people to be true or, Acha, Westerners with Westerners, Dr. John and Dr. Richard Dawkins. So they're saying that, okay, they're changing people in Pakistan sitting in Australia or somewhere else, we don't know where Ghalib Kamal is, and Gulzar Elia is in the United States of America. That's where they're sitting. We don't know where uh, Ghalib Kamal is. Or they will take these very low, uh, you know, not the good Indian Hindus or Muslims. Now, I'm not even in that Muslim category. I was a Shia Muslim and Majority of Muslims don't even count us as Shias, first of all. As, sorry, as Shias, as uh, Muslims. So, you know, like uh, Dr. Deepak Chopra, uh, Rajiv Malhotra was asking him, how was it in America when you left your profession and went into this uh, MD, he left his doctor being a doctor, doctorship, and went into holistic healing. He felt it was not enough. So anyways, the, he's a, sorry, he's a Hindu, I'm talking about him. It might put these people on fire. Uh, I don't know if it does. I'm not defending Hindus. I'm just saying that one Hindu, Dr. Deepak Chopra, who is well known in America too, so like that. Now, I'm not even using, I will use my health in the way, not to wrap people up. I'm not using like Gulzar Elia, Haris Sultan, Ghalib Kamal, my ex-Muslim or ex-Christian athe atheism to, you know, promote atheism mostly. Oh, uh, yes, completely rational thinking and the science journey. This guy is uh, another, he's, uh, I, so I watched one, uh, a lot of his, like half of videos, science journey. And I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I've, uh, I've read the Gita, but I've not paid attention to the Sanskrit words and all this. And so I wondered, like, why would they be attacking me personally? Like uh, before, Harith Sultan, 
right uh, with uh, this mr first uh, no alone then with uh, mr john backing him he's uh, an englishman or something what are, what are they trying to show because you see if they're trying to show something like islam is uh, muslims have been better than hindus i don't think so my grandfather was quite happy in uh, okay uh, later on his health didn't i don't know why but uh, you see the cruel people like my grandmother they used to say alhamdulillah we are okay i'm okay nothing wrong with her so if my uncle is going to say that my father always used to call us and say we used to ask him how your health is and he used to say well this is hurting me and i'm not feeling well now in his later years my goodness that doesn't mean that a uh, hindus no no i'm telling you majority of muslims didn't even recognize us when i was a shia don't recognize shias as muslims so okay like for example in the second time second time when i went to har sultan's channel he had dr john with him they're not alone they have all these people i went alone and i had limited time he dropped me and all this and he even personally attacked me like what is my fault uh, that you know anyone who disagrees with them so anyone who says like why don't you if you okay i said i didn't have time to uh, like you know i said you should see if the video is fake or not okay uh, so it's like she's saying that uh, you know like uh, god knows personal attacks anyone who doesn't agree with them they're like boxers in the boxing thing Okay, out. Is this the way to do it? Uh, someone who, you know, like we have to fight our way and all this, right? So very mean person, very harsh, tough. Tough luck for me, right? Uh, and why are you personally attacking me? If if like let's say we. you know i don't like this even if a hindu did this to me i would say what kind of a person is he right personally attacking me i have first said things against nitin sharma went after him to wrong person wrong indian because of my health i wasn't well and so i didn't care but i don't have time right now with my health uh, thinking who is with uh, please tell me please tell me <clears throat> so i went and gave it to another nitin sharma and because of that i got into trouble on facebook he complained like what your mouth and i said very i started to become abusive right because of my health uh so you know uh these people they just drop you if you don't another like these points i'm giving i see i can't even talk properly and these are experts they bring people okay at first i was like ghalib kamal really he has some patience i couldn't even hear for i couldn't live stream you know i would keep it on and then the voice would get to me like this debate and because of my condition ah sometimes you know too much music also uh now after a lot of mantras many years seven years here sometimes the voice the sound uh, gets me really like uh, uh, nervous and you know very irri- i get agitated so i was praising but in my heart i was praising uh, ghalib kamal before haris sultan and long before gulzar elia came in the picture i didn't know them if they had come on his channel i don't know on youtube but i didn't know them uh, they did not strike me or there uh, i had not known them from ghalib kamal's channel acha so the thing is that i was praising but there were men there and you know i'm a very like veiled conservative person in some sense like 
about men and all this and and I had some problems with Pakistanis I can't trust people so I wouldn't comment there oh one side then later on many years the meant much time went by months sorry not years and then I said something that a oh, great work and all this then when no when I saw that uh, Sultan Salatin had come on his channel so then I had to say yeah uh, women were coming uh, I praised him for the her his patience I want to say like I wanted to but now uh, you know like I have no patience for these people and I never had patience to listen to all this I would just do my thing and I don't have patience to listen to even my friend if she comes over I do I I want to do most of the talking all right this is how I've become so, so you know I feel a better world would be a more caring more understanding hearts world uh, but not like this I or debate debates, uh, uh, yeah, and debates. No, I did not agree to Richard Dawkins, and it turns into Jiddu Krishna Murthy was right. Like, if you get into these debates and on, um, I don't blame. Like I said before, please don't get me wrong. I don't blame uh, Haris Sultan Ghalib Kamal for getting into debates with these Muslims. Because, uh, you know, they, I also got into a comment debate. Uh, I didn't want to. Uh, some Shia told me that nothing is wrong with Surah Noor, Ayat uh, 33. So, I don't approve of my performance. Neither do I like the way I have to say it to him all the time. And another Muslim coming and trying to tell me. Uh, so, uh, but, uh, you know, like... Uh, as Shias or our Shia ulamas, uh, they would rather avoid these things, avoid these debates and all this. Um, there's a way, like, you have to be really, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you have to really be very egoless to do these dis uh, religious discussions, you know? But if the other person is getting into a debate, and doesn't understand, then we have to raise our voices sometimes. Like even in my, uh, like I have to say, look, uh, so, you know, my condition and all this. So Khalib Kamal, I felt that, oh, my God, he, I couldn't listen to, it was so interesting, I, interesting, I'd love, I would have loved to be there long time ago, but I, I had to put it off at times. And I just go cooking or, you know, leave it on and then feel, no, it's too much for me. I can't take it. Uh, this was long before. Uh, this was some time before when, uh, long before, uh, it was ta uh, before Haris Sultan and Gulzar Elia came in the picture. And I was like, also like, yes, you know, wait a minute. Uh, you are not in that condition psychologically that you should join them or talk to him. Uh, because uh, you know you've had that you have this like uh, on dystopia to reason I just got crazy angry and started to abuse or uh, with the, that guy what's his name later on when I that Irani guy Armin Nawabi from uh, yeah so you know I, I can't trust people and uh, so if I say something, and recently I did go, and they did acknowledge my comments. I said, stop hurting me, and this and that, Ghalib Kamal. So they liked those uh, from the channel. Uh, they acknowledged my comments, at least, Ghalib Kamal. I really am out of my wits now, how I'm doing this. Because, you know, in distance, mind control, symptoms and all, suffering since year 2000 before that chronic fatigue and I don't know what was wrong with me um, this uh, someone had this warning sign that please uh, don't like I shouldn't uh, you know don't get into this uh, like my energy is draining or like I feel like internal drainage is uh, happening uh, so it's better 
like not to and I couldn't take Karbala after uh, some time after separating from Mr. Sa I wouldn't watch thriller movies and all this so I have to talk about my health and uh, please uh, be caring be understanding have some compassion some empathy for people who are in my condition or even worse or a little uh, in other ways uh, understand them give them time and uh, include them just your rational thinking and your atheism i don't know which kind of atheism uh, like only uh, so it lacks like holistic for example dr deepak uh, the only example i can right now give he made a difference in united states of america like which states he's made a difference it was very difficult for him but now he told uh, when i was watching the youtube again rajiv malhotra sir's uh, channel he said that he's trying to get you know uh, get his holistic uh, healing in new york uh, so i'm not supposed to get into these uh, please make it please make life easy for us not difficult i'm not a muslim uh, i'm a, i'm not like for this haris sultan when someone said you know that uh, i even changed my name here and put ex muslim because i of course i don't want his wife to be in any danger or harm feel like scared in any way so it just hurt me so bad i mean even if i was a shia muslim right now if uh, like uh, someone said that uh, you know quran burning day or go and stab those people like khomeini uh i condemn that completely when i read in wikipedia about the satanic verses and what khomeini said happened to those poor printers so i condemn it com- com- completely i'm not with those people i'm saying don't hurt people book and when we talk uh, when we're giving you like i couldn't even can you i can't complete the sentence what i w- was thinking of abdullah samir's channels uh, that dr abdullah gondal series on so i think oh my god i can't believe although they were showing why there could be there are some epileptic and schizophrenic uh, people uh, we shouldn't call them uh, shouldn't label them but we have said that we are like this and you have to accept us right uh, so uh, the successful ones but then there are so many who have suffered i've known a family so many suffered and didn't get anywhere and they were suffering suffering is most like you know falling and it was very dangerous it was very sad to see a family member a family friend having this um thing in the family now they would i i i don't want to take names or anything so it was very sad but i kept it to myself like uh, so um then uh, i was like it's so so many people suffering in india also i used to think like wouldn't god accept these people uh like they love their god like my father was saying you know i think he got me wrong that islam has not reached there somewhere and you know they're born no no but uh, whether islam has reached there or not the hindus love their god doing their worship rituals and all this which should make them soft in the heart if religion does that for humanity to reach out to everyone um so i feel haris sultan has failed in that and uh you know to reach out to every individual abdullah samir does it i was honored to be there i said it's such a pleasure to be there abdullah samir really knows how to and he doesn't uh, 
it's not his reputation that he's care, care, uh, that he cares about that you know now zahra jawad radharani is on my is thing what will ghalib kamal think or she's against harith sultan or gulzar area but the way he welcomed me and when i wanted to be his member of his and i wanted to help him financially when he had lost a channel and so much money he was demonetized so i told him brother i wish i could uh, give you you know this money that you've lost so he said no 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 it's okay so i just it's not i'm buying people but i really appreciate and thank god when someone a uh, you uh, some one gave there i was like wow but there were people saying that uh, saying that and i was just silent like i really appreciate a person uh they gave and they said please make more like do you know make it into a more documentary type dr abdullah gondals so they contributed more a yusuf zai with the id yusuf zai so i wish i could have i felt so ashamed i like, on one hand and so happy for abdullah sami so i was like shall i go there because you know i'm not very famous with these daisy and uh, they make me feel like it's like i should you know i'm not very famous with atheist republic and i don't like uh, bad words or some sometimes if i see a case like when some arab had come on his channel or saudi or someone like he said something against his uncle bad words he used i just let it go because you know he's been through a lot his mother was hitting him what that child went through the his upbringing i don't blame him for using bad words sometimes huh? uh, so but uh, someone else using bad words i don't like like atheist republic he army nawabi putting people down like that so sometimes we can make concessions facilitate for some people right but i condemn bad words <coughs> completely and uh, i wanted to be a good mannered and all this good human being so my thing is like a doctor no like his highness his holiness dalai lama compassion bring compassion and no matter if you lose out uh, in this world of rat race uh business world finance it's a very tough world brutal outside <clears throat> now they want us to now some people like me cannot go after so much trauma in our lives or even a little trauma like accident or something some people can uh, rise above like benazir bhutto did shahid benazir bhutto and you see how the, her children i don't I don't want to uh if I if I found out I would have uh, probably fainted collapsed died that my mother this happened to, you know but they are from what their background how they were taught uh, her children my heart I like goes out to them and how uh, bilawal became prime and uh, like he, you know i think he should take it easy and all this that there's so many things going on cancer we don't want like shouldn't there now his her children who after this trauma so someone was telling me uh, comparing me like to benazir saying that you know no trying to say that benazir came up there were, i've read this comebacks uh, book on a uh, by robert chuller the world's greatest comebacks now from which family they're from you know they're from these polit- political they're from a political family and all this what pain is it but to to see her father go through and uh, things like that i mean so um they they have the strength now a parsi person i listened to against uh, shahid butto that oh my god his father was what shahid zulfikar ali butto did to his father 
in front of him and he says a lot of bad words khawaz ji is a parsi man he used to write in the editorial side in the newspapers in karachi dawn news and all this <clears throat> so now what can i do now there are these cases that i guess we just have to take it the bad language or things like that but please be uh, careful uh, understanding hearts just because so why am i being targeted like why was i personally being attacked so when when i saw that tahir sultan w- was acting like a tough macho man but why would i be personally attacked right like he he assumes that modi will become like ziolak has he is equated modi not assumes he is equated modi with the ziolak general ziolak he is god knows what they're doing and he's told me that i have why uh, do i no he didn't even say do i think that modi is god he completely with a statement like arrogance he made a statement against me that i take modi as god <laughs> so all this and uh, he's got some tough people with him like science journey very okay they're doing some uh, they're doing great good maybe they're showing the truth and all this uh, so I appreciate that I saw science journeys videos again but uh, I don't know what to believe in although I can't say I've read the Gita and uh, like for example again I'm repeating myself I can't say what the Sanskrit word and where the mistakes are yeah and you know like I told him uh, Haris Sultan I had to confessed that i was angry at him and he said uh, thank you i said like you are very cunning and all this then so he said thank you right so if he was like uh, maybe if he made a mistake you would realize that i didn't need to uh, for myself say thank you or do i want to help her out you know so i would say okay i understand right but they don't want to act that way soft and understanding right because millions of people are watching them and they want to act like macho and put the blame a uh, target me so whoever doesn't agree to them they won't say that you know we are i'm not soft with her god knows why i wasn't well so saying thank you do you really mean it huh because you know a uh, saying thank you to someone uh, who's not well and has said that uh, she so putting himself up on the pedestal and like thank you no no let's see if you are cunning and clever right and if you have lied and you're putting the blame on others where you put the blame on others so don't say this thank you to me or announce it on your live stream right a, a genuine person a humble and genuine caring for others truly would not uh, say like thank you right when it's again showing i feel these people are just for the in for the fame and name and how many people they have won in pakistan <laughs> and are converted to atheism a genuine normal person like normal uh, who doesn't care for his fame name reputation or if it's a lady or if it's a uh, this thing oh let me take a lady she's waiting for me now she's waiting uh, for a long time to talk to me uh, so that yes he said but then thank you you know you're putting the person down and putting yourself up like 
Let me see how many times you've lied. So, and I wonder if you really are concerned. So, I, no, I did not find him. You can go on, uh, Gulzari I can go on. That. I'm against them, unnecessarily prejudiced, biased, or anything like that. Uh, anything she, uh, he can say against me, uh, Khalib Kamal and uh, Hara Sultan. But that's not the way. Uh, you, I feel I'm trying to find a way. I've been praying also. I do believe in a God. Although sometimes I fight with him um, about, you know, like what is this, like Amitabh Bachchan's movie in Diwar. Sure, I would have said. <coughs> Went to the Shiva temple and there he spoke out. So I'm, I'm this kind of a person. I, why does evil exist if there is a God, you know, if you exist? And why have you put us in this? And we cannot, like Saadi, my, my aunt God said, Saadi or someone said that, oh God, you've put us in this. It's like you've put us in this ocean of sin. And you tell us that the water, we shouldn't be, the water should not, uh, you know, we shouldn't get wet with this water. That's the way to say it. Saadi. So my aunt said, Saadi, I've been looking, I've had Sufi books for a very long time. And uh, I've been looking for the saying by Saadi, but I didn't find it. So I don't know which Persian poet, but my aunt thought it was Saadi who said, that, oh God, you have put us in this ocean of water, a meaning ocean of sin, and you're telling us not to get wet. So this is my complaint against God. Right? Uh, and you're telling us not to get wet. Okay? I'll stop at this and I'm trying to find something to reform for the betterment of the world. The people, I mean, the world. We are the world. So let's make it a better day for you and me. Africa, for Africa, those singers from America, all over the world got a, uh, together to sing this. I think Sting was there too. I'm not sure. Sorry. So, you know, like that, like British singers and all. Also, let's make it a better world. Now, rational and all this, I don't know, but about Haris Sultan, like you don't have to, he didn't have to act macho and all this with me. Huh? So anyways, uh, thank, I mean, I'm not going to be like him and say, thank you. Thank you for showing me, you know, that you cannot, you're not really interested in uh, the underdogs at all. And uh, so if you are against, like, uh, if someone doesn't agree with you, doesn't mean you, uh, you know, snub, you snub them, right? Okay. So that's uh, an, a thing, like you, you know, start to snub them and you don't, oh, I know this thing, now Khalid Kamal also recently like him, like Haris Sultan, yeah, yeah, I know about this thing, you did to a Sikh, he was talking or someone, and uh, I know what you're talking about like this, uh, but this is all philosophy and all this, Lord, these are from, it's a philosophy, it's not true, and why are they doing this? Like they're making statements like it, they know about that this is philosophy and I can prove this is, it's not only in the books and it's not only philosophy, there's life energy. And uh, I'll prove this. But uh, the way this sick guy was snubbed by Khalib Kamal. So I wanted to go and correct these Say that, please, What? how are you snubbing these people? Okay, we disagree. See, with six, what is the six problem? Will he kill you if you leave Sikhism? Or they'll excommunicate you 
But will they take your life? Why are you targeting this poor man who has come with a true thing of this? Ha, huh, your vajut, I know this is all philosophy. And another thing he said, Khalib Kamal had to correct him. But no one corrects him. And then he's snubbing people. They don't listen to us, people like us. But what, there's reincarnation, I know my personal thing. Okay, you don't have it. There's a way of talking. There's a, okay, so they don't want to show their understanding with anyone, even the sick people, because, you know, it will give that bad impression because the Pakistani and the Muslim world is after them. That you should, the way you are with us. But when someone is not in a combatant uh, thing with you people, how can you be in that belligerent, belligerently talking to them, like you're fighting with them, or you're snubbing them? Yeah, yeah but we, uh, we don't believe in this. Uh, this is all philosophy and not give them the... So if you don't want to take out time, it's your... But then don't tell us that you care for humanity. You don't care. You just care for your own agenda. You are not that holistic sitting there like Dr. Uh, Deepak Chopra for us. You don't care. You are callous. You are cruel people. You just want your own God knows. And you want to show Pakistani Muslims or other Muslims that you are tough with Sikhs and this. And agnostic atheists also. Uh, no, no, the snubbing and the way they, you know, they don't give time and drop them from their channels. Yeah, I, I think you've wasted, you know, you've wasted too much of my time. You know, like that, that kind, I, they might not say that, but uh, we've had enough of you. So we've also had enough of these people. And I'm not there where the Pakistani Muslims think what they want to think. That oh Hindu unko ni maare, jaake chum ek chanta unko bhi maare hain. Isko bhi maro, isko bhi lakri leke maro. You know, apne alfazon se aisa maro. Isko bhi put down karo, personal attack karo. Isko bolo, tell her that she's using her this thing. So for them to reach them, you know, they're trampling on us, they're insulting us, they're all this, and we are supposed to understand them. But, uh, and then they say humanity. If they claim, if they claim humanity, I don't, they're liars. I don't believe them for a split second. Thank you so much, I'll continue later.